early in The Greatest Showman, P.T. Barnum, played with gung-ho sincerity by Hugh Jackman, says he has long served up hokum, but now wants to do more for his audience, just once I'd like to give them something real. What fun is that, even after the long-running circus bearing his name closed up shop this year, P.T. Barnum remains firmly lodged in the public imagination because of his gift for blurring the line between truth and fiction. When he presented the 161-year-old nurse of George Washington as a star attraction, some of his audience knew she was phony, others did not, and then there were those who did not care and went along for the ride. There's pleasure in a good fib, spoiler alert, Santa as well as political advantage. When compared to Barnum last year, Donald Trump responded, We need P.T. Barnum, a little bit. The Greatest Showman, a montage sequence that occasionally turns into a movie musical, steers clear of any contemporary resonance and ignores meaty themes. The first-time director Michael Gracie achieves an aggressively synthetic style through kinetic editing and tidy underdog stories, but none of the true joy of pulling a fast one. It's a standard-issue holiday biopic, one that tells a story about a populist entertainer hungry for highbrow respect, the joys of showbiz and the price of ambition. An amusement park version of P.T. Barnum is fine as far as that goes, but if you are going to aim for family-friendly fun, you need to get the fun part right showman has the ingredients of a splashy good time, since it has the perfect star in Hugh Jackman, the most charismatic Broadway leading man of his generation, and songs by Benj Pasek and Justin Paul, the acclaimed duo behind the lyrics for last year's hit movie La La Land, which won them Oscars, and the music for the Broadway show Dear Evan Hansen, which won them. Tonys. But they are all awkward fits for this material. The songs, which shift from defiant pop anthems to melodramatic ballads, do not evoke the circus, or at least not the American version. Their soupy soulfulness belongs to Cirque du Soleil more than Ringling Brothers. And while Mr. Jackman is a dashing presence with an easy smile, his earnest performance could use a few knowing winks. The script doesn't do him any favors. Its first joke is a spit take, and it doesn't get any wittier than that. Not much time is wasted on Barnum's early life. Success comes quick, soon after making his American Museum which mixes flea circuses and bearded ladies. Then Barnum starts chasing respectability, hiring an upper-crust playwright, a colorless Zac Efron, who falls in love with an acrobat, Zendaya, and presenting on tour the opera singer Jenny Lind, Rebecca Ferguson. His star attractions turn into a kind of chorus of eccentrics with minimal backstories. Playing the role of a skeptical theatre critic as the joyless foil to the giddy fun inspired by Barnum, Paul Sparks maintains a stern deadpan, the way reviewers in movies do. As Barnum's wife, Charity, Michelle Williams gazes adoringly, until rumours in the press of his affair with Ms. Lind prompt her eyelids to fall in disappointment. The repercussions of this domestic drama are predictable, but at least they do lead to a delightful redemptive scene, one of the movie's few pleasingly dreamlike moments, when Barnum uses an elephant as a New York taxi to make an appointment on time. It's utter nonsense imagine finding a parking space but that's exactly what a movie about the self-proclaimed Prince of Humbugs needs.